Good morning, Monarchs. So this week, we're going to be talking and learning all about flowers and vegetables and plants and gardens. So I thought we would start um, today off with reading a book about vegetables and how vegetables, how farmers grow vegetables or how we can grow our own vegetables at home. So the book is called The Vegetables We Eat by Gail Gibbons, okay? I want you to think about what are, um, what are some of your favorite vegetables to eat? Do you like to eat them as snacks or for dinner or for lunch? As we're reading, I want you to think about that, okay? Look at all the vegetables. Vegetables are the parts of plants that are grown to be eaten. Most are annuals and some are perennials. Perennials are plants that grow for many growing seasons without having to be replanted. So they come back over and over again every year and you don't have to replant them most of the time. Annuals are plants that grow for only one growing season for one year and they must be replanted to grow again every year. It is good for us to eat vegetables. They are nutritious and help keep our body strong and healthy. They are tasty too. We eat vegetables in different ways. We can have them with dinner or lunch. We can have them in a salad or in soup or as a snack. Vegetables grow to be different shapes, sizes, and colors. There is a leaf vegetable, like lettuce, a bulb vegetable, like onions, a flower bud, like broccoli or cauliflower, a root vegetable, like a radish or a carrot. There's a tuber vegetable, like a potato. There's a stem vegetable, like celery, there's a fruit vegetable, like tomatoes, and there's a seed vegetable, like green beans. Um, botanist, says up here, a botanist is a scientist who studies plants. It's his job to learn about plants. So botanists group the different kinds of vegetables according to the part of the vegetable that we eat. There are eight groups of vegetables. I just listed the eight groups of vegetables that we there are. There are leaf vegetables. We eat the leaves of these vegetables. There are different kinds of lettuces and parsley and Brussels sprouts and spinach and cabbage. What do you think your favorite leaf vegetable is? I think I like romaine lettuce. I like a good salad. There are bulb, bulb vegetables. We eat the bulbs that grow beneath the ground. So like an onion or a leek or scallions. You guys like onions? There are flower bud vegetables. The flower buds of these vegetables are eaten. So broccoli and artichokes and cauliflower. I love broccoli. Broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. There are root vegetables. The roots of these vegetables are eaten. They grow beneath the ground. So vegetables like beets and carrots and rutabagas and radishes. There's tuber vegetables. The edible part of these vegetables, the tuber, grows beneath the ground, like potatoes and yams and sweet potatoes. We eat a lot of sweet potatoes at our house. There are stem vegetables. The stems of these vegetables are eaten. Some stem vegetables are perennials. Remember, perennials, they come back every year. You don't usually have to replant them. So those are things like celery and asparagus and rhubarb. There's fruit vegetables, tomatoes, 
and eggplants and cucumbers and peppers and pumpkins. And here, um, so these are just a whole bunch of different fruit vegetables we eat. What is your favorite kind of fruit vegetable to eat? And there are seed vegetables. We eat the seeds of these plants. Some seed vegetables grow in pods. Sometimes the pods are eaten too. So all different types of um, beans and corn. It says corn is a seed vegetable that does not have a pod. It has a, what are these, what's the outside of the corn called? Maybe you help mommy and daddy take this green stuff off before you eat the corn on the cob. It's called a husk, you take off the husk. And there's also some soybeans. Soybeans are a special seed vegetable. They can be used in many ways. Some soybeans are used to make food and some soybean oil is used to make many non-food items too. So soybean, which is a type of seed vegetable, they can make oil and soy milk and margarine and soy sauce and tofu, but it can also help make things that you can't eat, like paint and paper and plastic and cloth and soap. So how to grow your own vegetable garden. When it gets warm enough, many people enjoy planting, growing, and later harvesting their own vegetables. Most often, they buy packets of seeds that have directions on them. You need dirt and a shovel and a rake. We just planted a vegetable garden at my house. Some people plant starter plants, also called seedlings. Most of the time, vegetable seeds or starter plants are planted in straight rows or in circles. That's what we planted at my house. We planted uh, starter plants. Sometimes string or sticks are used to help plant straight rows or to help support climbing plants. Tomatoes and green beans need the poles to help um, grow because they're a vine. Um, they use shovels. The garden must be weeded and watered every day. And then the plants will begin to grow. In cities, people may grow vegetables in containers and the vegetable plants will become bigger until they are ready for harvesting. These are great big vegetable farms. Farmers fertilize the soil, then the fields are plowed, harrowed, and planted. So first they fertilize the soil to make sure it has all the food it needs. The plow turns the soil over. A harrow smooths the soil so it is ready for planting, and a planter places the seeds in a large straight line. Big sprinkling systems are used to water the vegetable plants. At the end of the growing season, the vegetables are harvested. So there are the sprinklers to help keep it wet. And then it says some vegetables can be picked by hand. Other vegetables are harvested by machines. Refrigerator trucks haul the vegetables to processing plants where they will be washed and sorted. Some are frozen, some are canned, and the rest will be sold fresh. The vegetables are shipped to stores near and far away for people to buy. At grocery stores, fresh vegetables are on display. Canned vegetables line shelves and frozen vegetables are found in freezers. Some people buy fresh vegetables at farm stands. It is fun to pick out what to buy. Look at all the delicious vegetables. The end. So that was our book, The Vegetables We Eat. So the beginning of the book, I asked you to start thinking about what is your favorite vegetable to eat, okay? We learned about all the different types in here. So at our Zoom meeting later today, 
Um, I want you to tell us what your favorite type of vegetable is to eat. Okay, I look forward to seeing you guys. Bye, see you soon.